Chief of Defence Staff Admiral Ravindra Vijayagunaratna attended the Cabinet Media Briefing today and commented on the prevailing situation across the country, including the Kandy District. This is a large area. The army has been dispatched in all areas. Only two incidents were reported last night from the whole of Kandy. But our personnel responded to those incidents immediately and did what they have to do. The incidents which happened this morning, however, were quite different. When there is an attack, there is a response for that as well. It should be stated at this moment of time that we should focus on de-escalating the issue, not escalating it even more. To do this, both the Sinhala and Muslim communities should think about it. There was a curfew in place last night. There were just two incidents. It was lifted this morning. This was a police curfew which was imposed. But now the government has also imposed a curfew to contain the situation. That is why a state of emergency was announced and the three armed forces were deployed. The security forces are handling everything. They brought an end to the three decade long war. Therefore, we have placed in the security forces. We are receiving reports. When an incident takes place, those behind it are not revealed immediately. We will only be able to arrest those involved. Interrogation will reveal who steered them and who obtained the bus for them. They have now revealed these matters and various names are being exposed. An MP and an MP secretary have been mentioned. In addition, there are Pradeshi Sabha members. The name of a district organizer is mentioned as well. There is a monk attached to that party as well. Names are being revealed and investigations are ongoing. More arrests are made based on the statements given. There are reports on posts published on social media platforms and we are told who is steering them. One part works against the government and the other works to promote racism. All the names are being revealed. Thing may